Yes, that's right, somebody's O has got to go. Now losing your O in boxing seems to be the most frightening thing for promoters and their prodigies these days. So a lot of fighters are carefully matched throughout most of their early careers. These early fights are creating the hype, making themselves a name, and showing their ability by knocking out the lower level fighters in front of them. But just hold on a cotton picking minute. Who are these lower level fighters? The ones with the dodgy records. The ones we call the journeymen. Now for a start, these people just don't give a monkeys about losing the O. Cause to be honest, the O completely fucked off a long time ago. Now they're there to do a job. A job more complex than you may have realized. And who better to help you understand the journeyman role than one of the greatest journeymen on planet Earth. Enter Lewis Van Poet or as we know and love him, Poochie. Now Poochie is 32 years old, he's a full-time lift engineer, and he hails from Gloucestershire. A lovely place to visit, I must say. Oh yes, stunning. Look at this, scenic views, beautiful, and... Uh... Oh god, well not there anyway, fuck that. Now along with serving six years in the army, including a tour of Afghanistan, he's been boxing professionally for around 10 years. He travels up and down the country with his friend, trainer and manager Richard Farner nearly every week he can, and has previously racked up a whopping 33 fights in one year. Unbelievable stuff, just look at him, that's why he's checking his watch. He's saying, come on bruv, I might have another pissing fight tomorrow, get your shift on. His record in this fine sport currently stands at a cracking 13 wins. 150 losses and four draws. Ruddy superb. But the truth is, and this may surprise you, even though his record tells a different story, he's actually quite good. Now bear with me here. Granted, he probably ain't beating Tyson Fury anytime soon. Uh, well, mind you, nor's this man, but we still gotta watch that for a third fucking time. Anyway, that's another story. Yes, he's not beating the elites, but this man does have a phenomenal set of skills. However, to understand them, let me tell you what this man goes through in the role of the journeyman. Now, the journeyman's job, or basically Pooch's job, in a nutshell, is kind of to look good losing. He takes this game very seriously. Uh, yeah. So Poochie can get a call anytime, from months before a fight, or even on the day of a bout. If someone has pulled out last minute, the promoters pay him to fight their new up and comer, or their big ticket seller. But what they're really paying the likes of Poochie to do, is to make the man in front of him look half decent. You may think this sounds a bit corrupt, well, welcome to boxing. Fucking great, innit? Anyway, Poochie is there to take the punishment of the prodigy's best punch to entertain the crowd by making it a watchable fight and every now and then add a touch of drama, slightly exposing the prodigy with a little onslaught, giving him a little something to work on. All of this is essentially an art form. Now, Poochie never intended to play this role. He had dreams like all of us. He was going to be a world champion and it started so well. His first professional fight he won with flying colours and then he lost. But then he come back with two wins in a row. The world was taking notice. And then uh, he lost a few. Uh, well, I say a few. Fuck me. Oh look, a win. Uh, ah. Anyway, Poochie realised his calling early on and accepted it for what it was. He had learned that there was still money to be made and he has used it to his advantage for many years. So yes, why is Poochie actually a good boxer? But his record and paper so bad? Well, let me tell you, a lot of his fights, he knows in the first round he could actually beat them easy. But ladies and gentlemen, in the journeyman world, that's not good for business. His most skillful attribute is his defence. Oh, well, either that or his head's harder than a fucking brick. For a start, he's never actually been knocked out, only ever stopped on his feet. He has learnt to not only save his body and head from too much punishment, but he has also had to do this to keep himself in work, because a cut or a knockout can suspend him for a month or more, losing him a lot of wages. And you're probably wondering at this point how much they earn. Well, it can be anything from around 1,000 to 5,000 pound a fight, or even more. It is essentially good business. Now there is a saying in the boxing world that if a journeyman loses by a point, he more than likely won the fight. And Poochie has lost multiple bouts by a point. Decisions are usually given to the ticket seller, another reason his record won't tell the whole story. And this is probably the main reason why you see a lot of undefeated fighters who turn out to be fucking useless. They face a proven champion and get absolutely walloped 
journeymen make for a brilliant padded record and promoters love them. Name no names. Yeah. So yes, it is unfortunately just the way of the boxing world. Check out his box rec to see the multiple times he's lost narrowly by a point. And, uh, hold on a minute, half a star? Bollocks. Let me sort that out, pooch me old son. That's fucking better, bloody box rec, fucking liberty. But just remember, old Poochie don't mind all this. He's a champion loser with the utmost respect for his opponents, whatever the outcome. And just to put all this into perspective, it has been known for old Pooch to be offered extra money by promoters to actually lose the fight. But an even more common occurrence is they pay him extra money to make their prospect look double good. Now, not too long ago, a promoter said to him, here's a bit of extra Dosh. My guy is quite nervous tonight, but he sold a lot of tickets. Can you show him around the ring and basically go a bit easy on him? Poochie said no problem bruv, because he plays the game. This sort of thing happens more than we realise. He lost that fight by the way, you'd, you'd never have guessed. But obviously in the end, the prospect went nowhere as well. Now I know what you're thinking, who has the legendary Poochie actually fought? The biggest names he's faced are the likes of Curtis Woodhouse, Sam Eggington, Zach Parker, Darrell Williams and Lerone Richards. Lerone ranks as one of the best in his eyes, forcing a rare stoppage for old Poochie in round three. He ranks Zach Parker and Darrell Williams a close second. But are there any fighters that have actually avoided Poochie? Well, you bet your bottom dollar there is. One name in particular that stands out. Poochie has put himself forward a number of times for this famous fighter who has been in desperate need of opponents during the early part of his career. He's unfortunately been snubbed multiple times though in favor of his journeyman friends who subsequently were beaten by this star of the sport. You know him well, this fighter is, it's, uh, uh, uh. No, actually, no, that's not right. I don't want to out him. That's not fair, is it? He's got his whole career ahead of him. I don't want to say he avoided a fighter who lost over 100 fights. You'll have to use your imagination, people, for who I'm talking about. I am sorry. Anyway, Poochie's world is just double fascinating. In a nutshell, the more fights he loses, the more work he gets. However, he actually sent me his schedule for the rest of this year. And interestingly, he's won his last few fights. Ruddy superb. But some of his forthcoming fights have been called off on the back of this for fear he may actually beat the opponent, making this phrase true to its word. Like when he stopped Aaron Michael. The only yeah, thing is, you might not get a fight next week, Poochie now. No, it is what it is. Uh... Hopefully, I'm going to Vegas in a few months, so I need the money. <laughs> this legend has claimed that this will be his final year in boxing, and don't be surprised to see an influx of wins on his record, because this man is a veteran of the sweet science. As much as we admire him in the ring, we would love to see him come out of the sport unscathed and leave behind an unorthodox legacy. So from me and everyone watching Poochie, we wish you safe health for your final hurdle. This man is brute force, harder than a coffin nail, with a beautiful personality to match. He has also been raising money for a long time for a charity close to his heart, Parkinson UK. So if you feel like sticking a little bit in, I've provided the link in the description. Obviously Uncle Proper has already joined you on all this, and on behalf of Poochie's efforts, we say thank you. Brilliant stuff. So big up the Poochie, big up the journeyman, and big up yourselves, absolutely brilliant. Now give us a backflip, old Poocho, let's see it, here we go. Oh yes, ah, uh, yeah, fair enough, fuck that. Much love, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Bosh.